All right, Knights of Apollo, what's up, guys? Hope you're doing well, and welcome back to our Game of Thrones Bannerlord story. Of course, this is Stephen Ironhorn, who has been uh, betrayed by the Greyjoys and is now seeking revenge by building an army on the mainland, and he plans invasion one day, one day in the future here, once he builds a strong enough army. So, it's been a while since the last episode, so of course, guys, we took the very dangerous trek through the ice wall into the north, and we encountered our first whites and a white walker, which was absolutely terrifying, and uh, Steven has realized, whoa, there's some, there's some bad stuff going on in the north, but I don't really care. We're, we want to just kill the Greyjoys, you know? The end of the world is coming, but... You know, we just want to kill the Greyjoys. Now, of course, guys, um, I absolutely love reading your comments. Uh, you guys have been adding some lore. And I always, I always love to kind of showcase some of that lore at the beginning of these episodes. And that's why it's been so long since the last episode. I actually went out of town. Now, I could have recorded a bunch of episodes in one sitting. But I just feel like that cheapens the experience. And I like to see what you guys... Like, it's almost like I have just as much fun waiting to see what you guys are going to say about Steven and his adventures. And, like, make some lore that we can delve into. I have a lot of fun. I enjoy reading. I enjoy writing. And I like to see the creative writing and, like, seeing what you guys come up with. It's a lot of fun for me. And I think it's a lot of fun for you guys. So, let me just showcase some of the comments here the last... Uh, episode now I can't show everything because we'd be here for hours but I'm gonna show some stuff that I found really cool but again take the time and go back to the last episode and read some of the lore that you guys have been writing uh, it's it's a lot of fun so the first comment uh, I asked you guys to write a little bit about the history of house Ironhorn of you know the Iron Isles and we got was it Fatsy's Fat or something like that? I'm sorry. Can you guys just come up with normal names? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. It's six o three four. Anyways, I'm not gonna read everything here because again, I don't want my intros to be too long. But just pause the video and read the backstory of House Ironhorn. It's so cool. And he also talks a little bit of Good Brothers and how they're like traitors rather than warriors, which is like. It, it talks about that's how much the gray the Greyjoys didn't trust House Ironhorn. They they propped up traitors rather rather than bloodthirsty warriors. Anyways, it's a great comment. It goes into great um like backstory. I really enjoyed reading that. So thank you for sharing that. We also have another report from the Minister of Shadows of House Greyjoy. So this is from Dajin Hall six one two six. He says. The rumor of Stephen Ironhorn living has been proven true. We have report reports that he has traveled deeper into difficult territory. Attempts to eradicate uh, the remnants of the Ironhorn clan will be made difficult, but not impossible. We are now awaiting reports of the current location of Clan Ironhorn. When we do, we will wish he will wish he is he he was dead. With his clan, Minister of Shadows of House Greyjoy, report four. So, uh, yeah, I, I just love how these reports are evolving. And at first it was just a rumor. They can't, they, you know, they can't believe like he's actually alive. Now it's like it's been confirmed. And now they're trying to do things, either send assassins or small brigands to hunt down Steven and take him out. So this, this is a lot of fun. And for the last comment, and again, there's many more that go into the lore of Steven and House Ironhorn and everything. Please, guys, I wish I could show everything, but we got to get the show on the road. I'll do one more that I really enjoyed, and I enjoyed a lot. So just because I didn't post it doesn't mean I didn't enjoy your comment. Again, I try to read them all um, when I can. So this is from Oblivion to Paradise. He says, Steven Ironhorn is alive. For we saw him in a tournament in Fair Market that he lost. He looked well dressed in armor, and his face for some reason was shaven, revealing his hideous face, unfortunately. But he is alive, and I thought you should know, Minister. Sir Hamilton of House Greyjoy. <laughs> so, I wonder, was Sir Hamilton in the- I guess he was in that tournament, but 
Yeah, that that's a I like that because it was really funny because I was talking about the glitch of my helmet that removes my beard. So if we go to my character, just to remind you guys, because yeah, see how I look like I'm hideous without my mustache. Uh, but if you remove the helmet, if everything, holy crap, if everything could load. Anyways, yeah, I go back to normal. So, yeah. Anyways, funny little glitch. Okay, so anyways, let's jump into the next episode here. And remember, our goal here is to recruit a giant. Now, let's not forget there was a, um, a peasant a just like i don't know what was he like a trader or, or he was a lowly you know he wasn't of any title and he heard rumors of Ironhorn steven still being alive he crossed over to the mainland captured by brigands and sure enough steven liberated him from the captivity of the brigands and had him join the army well he gave him rumors of giants in the north that could aid him in his conquest for revenge of course, this is someone who likes the Iron Horns and he felt sympathy for him, you know. So he's going to go off of those rumors because the one rumor that uh, Steven is still alive was true. So why can't the rumors of the Giants be true? So he's going to go ahead and travel north and see if there really are Giants. Now, there's reports that there's Giants in the city called Thane uh, all the way in the north. But the challenge here is avoiding White Walkers because they are absolutely terrifying. Now, before we go up north and try to uh, recruit some giants, uh, we need to go win a tournament. Now, to my understanding, the other rumors say that, well, uh, giants cost 10,000 gold. So we don't even have enough for one. So we need to try to win a tournament and maybe sell some stuff and have enough for a giant. So let's... See if we can win a tournament here. We really do need to win this one. Oh, it's too... Oh, my head... Oh, I'm too low to fight. Oh, okay. So we're going to wait and hopefully we can still make this tournament. I guess while we're here, let's trade some stuff as well. Because, like I said, um, if we have any kind of loot, we really don't have any loot. <laughs> uh, okay, 182 gold there. Um... I guess we could, well, I guess we'll get rid of this iron and stuff. We were kind of dabbling a little bit with blacksmithing and stuff, but we kind of need the money right now. So we'll just sell that. That's going to give us 800 gold. That brings us a bit closer to 10,000, but we really got to win this tournament. The only thing is I'm at 20% health. I'm going to wait one more day. Hopefully the tournament doesn't end, but hopefully we can get to like 40% health which will increase our chances of, you know, winning the tournament by having a bit more health. Okay, so we're at 50% health. I'll wait until noon. So 50% health. And the nice thing about playing in tournaments in the north is that there's probably way less lords in, like, from, you know, the realms that are past the ice wall. So I'll kind of be more undercover here because there'll be less, you know, people here uh, that you know, report to kings and whatnot. Um, anyways, let's go in here and let's go to the arena. Let's join the tournament and hope for a miracle. All right, we got a massive free-for-all. These are actually pretty nice. We'll get Thane Bronze Pauldrons. Okay, that's actually pretty cool. Yeah, our armor setup right now is not that great. We're also going to gamble. We, again, kind of need the money. No! <laughs> Oh my gosh. All right, hold up. We're getting some major lag here. Oh no, dude. Oh, that was such lag garbage. Oh, we're not going to make it. Unless this guy clutches here. Nope. Oh, not good. All right, well. Can we, uh... Yeah. Damn. Damn. We really needed to win that. Um, like really need if we were gonna get okay. Mm. Uh we need money. We need money bad. Well, the good news is that since I gambled money, I I lost on the first round. 
instead of the you know instead of me making it to the final round and then losing i blame the lag there so anyways let's see what we can do let's see what we can do so we got some broken men here we can hunt down oh wait, do we have a quest hold on hold on okay first off we got some leveling up here like another archer we got a prisoner that wants to join us but we're full so we can't do that what is our quest i forgot yeah supply um oh that's right find at least three different parties oh okay well maybe okay we only have 16 days to do it though so we kind of have to be quick about it come on okay we are faster than them so we're going to be able to catch up to them he's trying to use the rough terrain all right i'm just gonna send troops here because we heavily outnumber them and that's going to bring us one party closer. A Dornish peasant? What is a Dornish peasant doing beyond the ice wall? Guys, I think we need a little bit of a backstory of this Dornish peasant that is beyond the wall. I don't know. But uh, we'll take him anyways. I'll take these prisoners and of course we will level up some troops here. Then we got some options here. Um... I'm just going to mix and match. I'll just kind of do whatever, you know. Uh, and we can add one prisoner. We'll get this highwayman, get another cab unit with us. And we'll take all the loot, which is stuff we can sell. All right, that was pretty nice. We caught up to them pretty quick. We just need to get one more gang of brigands. Uh, I guess we'll try to complete this quest to make some extra moolah. And then we'll go really far up north it's nice because i was gonna abandon this quest because i thought it was just gonna be a bunch of white walkers we'd have to fight and that would be challenging because they are very tough to kill so yeah anyways so now we gotta we gotta hurry up we gotta we kind of have to get lucky here and hope that we can find a party to kill now remember our goal was to take out this hideout we attacked the hideout everything went well until we took the took on the captain of the hideout and that's um that's you know where we had issues anyways I, a little side note and there's one person who's been watching me that's just like making this very clear to me but i've been doing this new habit of going like making like lip sounds like I don't know. It's like a nervous tick or something. I'm trying not to do it, but uh, if you hear it, just give me some grace. I'm trying to fix it. I know it's annoying. I don't know why I started doing it, but that's just how it is. Anyways, we're wasting time, guys. I want to attack this hideout, and it would complete the quest, but again... Oh! Well, 62 whites. Do we dare? I'm curious. This could be bad. This could be really bad. Okay, hold on. We leveled up. Our scouting went up. Let's see. Plus five travel speed on deserts and dunes. Or let's do the forest. Because we've got a lot of forest up here. I don't know how good this is. 61 infantry, one cav. I don't know how good they are. Um, we do have a lot of leveling up here though. Which is nice. Let's get some crossbows. Yeah, just get a lot of archers. We got 18 archers. Um, I think what I'll do right before we engage them, I'm going to... See, he's coming to fight me. That means he's really strong. I'm going to go ahead and... Oh, this might be bad. This might be bad. What are we doing chasing these guys down? Well, it's going to max us out, but let's go for it. Okay, the bounce... Oh, gosh! Why have we here? Bounce in their favor. Oh my gosh. Paid either in coin or in blood. Uh, this is going to be tough. The bounce power is not that bad, but the considering we outnumber them, look at these, look at these guys in the back. Oh my gosh. All right, let's, let's try it. What's the worst that's going to happen? He takes his prisoner, I guess. I mean, a lot could, there's a lot on the line here. All right. 
Godspeed. Here we go. Okay, so... Oh, yeah, that's right. We've got the Red Priestess. Um... I forgot. I forgot that we got the Red Priestess in our army. Um... We'll put her with the archers, I guess. I don't know for sure what her skills... I guess we can look. Uh, infantry influence. Range influence, 13. Yeah, so let's see. Horse archer influence, 15. We don't have any horse archers, so we'll keep them with the archers. There she is. Okay. Ooh, boy. All right. Um, right. Let's have a look at the battlefield here. It's not snowy, so that's nice. The weather's pretty good. Uh, there's not really much we can do with the battlefield. Um, I wish there was some high ground. I guess we can kind of put... Here, we can kind of put the infantry here. And the archers here. Cav here. Alright. Here we go. Things are about to get wild. Look at my ragtag group of soldiers. This is so... Look at the Dorn guy. Look at the Dorn guy. I don't think he's going to make this battle. I feel like we're going to come out on top like by the skin of our teeth. I mean, this is a cool army. Just like a ragtag group. I, I love that. I don't... All right. Is this the... Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Cavalry attack. Okay. So, the White Walker has the zoomies. <laughs> like... Holy smokes, he can zoom it. All right, guys. Now, I guess in this universe of Game of Thrones, we can kill the dead with normal weapons where, you know, of course, not to go like full nerd mode, but I mean, I'm not even a big Game of Thrones fan, but um, yeah, you need obs like obsidian to kill him. Oh, my God. Footman! Give him hell! All right. Cavalry attack! Oh, what is up with this lag? Come on, guys. Oh my gosh, they crushed my army. Come on, guys. I gained a level. The priestess. Are they running? Oh, man, I'm so rusty. I'm rustier than these dead people's armor. Okay, so all that's left now... That was close. Everyone, All that's left now is this White Walker. And I honestly don't know how tough this guy is. Uh, he could probably kill us all. And he's really fast. Like, he's got the zoomies. <laughs> Look at him. He's got, like, Nos. Is he running for it? If he runs for it, then that's perfect. But I don't think he is. Nope. I think we gotta kill his horse. I think that's the best plan of action. Nice. We got him on the ropes. Can we just, like, talk about how great these mo- Oh, jeez. How great these models look. Like, they did such a good job. And then there's, like, dragons in this game. Which, of course, we gotta get a dragon. Alright, we did a little bit of damage to his horse. There we go. So, again, I'm just going for a horse. Because then, if we can kill the horse, the archers can close in, the infantry can close in. Gotta be careful, though, because I feel like one swing will kill me from this guy. The archers are opening fire. Good for them. 
Basically, the only way I'm catching up to this guy is because he keeps running into trees. The dead do not have good vision. Oh, got his horse. Okay, this is where things get interesting. Let's lead him back to... If he starts killing my calf... Yeah, come here. It's hit and runs. You got to do hit and runs. Careful, dude. Careful. Land your hits and... Oh, you got his ass. You got his ass. Good job. Who is this? Ironborn Veteran Caravan Guard. Let's say he's the... Uh, the ironborn peasant that hold that told rumor or heard rumors of us. Let's say that's him. Oh, anyways, whatever. That's awesome. We came out on top. We lost a lot of men in that, but hopefully we get some good loot. Oh, wait a second. Wait a second. Wait a sec. Are you telling me? Are you telling me that we can have whites in our army? Are you saying that we could summon the dead upon the Greyjoys? All right. Yes, we're taking them all. Also, massive level. Look at this reach, reach hedge knight. Look at this guy. Oh my gosh. Beautiful. Great leveling up here. I'm just picking random stuff. We do need more archers though. We got some free folk. Spearman, shieldman. Let's get the shieldman. We do need more archers, though. That's awesome. I wish I could take more of these guys, but... I guess I'll take, like, these guys. I know we're over the limit, but... <laughs> That's so funny. That is so funny. Okay. Is this better? No. Eh. No. But it's pretty good. Oh, we got some great... We needed that. We needed that. We got some great loot here. That's great. Okay. All right. I think we'll have... Yeah. So we'll get... We got 700 gold from that. And now we can go up north, sell our loot up there, and we'll definitely have more than 10,000 plus some to buy ourselves a giant. Woo! That's awesome. We also leveled up from that. Yes. And we can put a point into something. I guess we'll put it into... We've been doing a lot of throwing, so why not put one into throwing? Okay, oof. All right, now we got to be smart about this. We got to avoid those armies. Um, we're a little wounded. You know what? Let's just play it safe. I'm going to go to this village and recruit. We can always get some more free folk into our army. Um, we do have... Some prisoners that want to join us. I'll gladfully, gleefully get them to join us. Um, nice. And give me these free folk. There we go. Okay, that makes me feel a little bit safer. We'll head out. And take this slow. It'd be kind of cool if they made the white armies faster at night. You know what I mean? I don't know if that's, like, lore-friendly. Oh, my gosh. 300? Dude, we got so lucky we came across that small white army. Like, imagine... Like, I'd be like, there's no way. All right, let's go recruit some more, too. It'll be cool to get all these free folk into our army. Um, and just bring them... And <laughs> bring the free... The might of the free folk down on the Greyjoys. All right. All right, we're heading up north. This is the great trek. The great challenging trek. Okay. Ooh, let's get away from that. And anytime we got prisoners that want to join us. Ooh, the mountain bandit boss. Don't mind if I do. We got a ragtag group of soldiers, huh? Pretty cool. So we got to go into this valley, which scares me a little bit. How do you get through there? Okay, I guess... Okay, there's some broken men, but they're gonna run away. We could catch up to them. We might as well get some experience. Oh! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's send in the troops. 
We lost two men there. What do we lose? Dornish peasant. No, he died. Well, tis the life in Game of Thrones. One moment you're in, the next moment you're out. So yeah, I'm going to be leveling up some troops as archers. Here and there, because I definitely think we need more archers. Gotta just, you know, kill. Kill, kill, kill. Lord of Bones. Cool. Alright, into the valley we go. God have mercy on our souls. Look at them all. Hopefully, we can get through this valley without inter uh, without in encountering encountering enemy forces. When I say enemy forces, I mean zombies. <laughs> All right. Let's go recruit from here. Nice. Almost maxed out our army. Nice little save there. We do have... I'm going to leave some space open, though, because if we get some, some zombies that are going to join our army, that'd be hilarious. Let's see. Okay, turn you into an archer. Zombies? No, broken men. Sure. I'll take it. I know that lowers our morale quite a bit. The morale is pretty low right now. I mean, I don't blame them. Oh, there's a tournament over here. Let's go fight in that. Um, we're at 100 health, so we should be good to go. Let's try to win this one. Okay, 1v1. Oh, and we got a tournament. We got bronze armor. I don't know how good that is, but we're going all in. And even if we lose this... Uh, yeah, even if we lose this, um, it's not a big deal. We have a Dornish Bastard, Damon Sand. Might just kill his horse. Like, uh... What's his face? What's that knight? William Marshall. With Richard the Lionheart. God, I swing so slow. I'm not in the mood to do this. Like, I could beat him if I could kill his horse. This is... My shield's gonna break, though. Not good. Damn, his horse is tanky. Yeah, this is not going well. I thought it would kill his horse a little bit faster than this. A little bit faster. There we go. All right. Now here's the here's the issue. But if he keeps his sword out, nope. Get down. Get down. Okay. <laughs> I did not see that coming. I kind of feel like I deserve to lose this tournament. I, honestly, I ha I feel like I have the advantage with him on horseback, and maybe I should have just gotten off my horse from the beginning. Yeah, I'm doing, I'm doing numbers against him. It's hard to kill a spearman when you're on horseback, you know what I mean? Who would have thought? That was funny as hell. There we go. Okay, that win. That works. That, that wins. That wins and that works. All right, we got a free-for-all amongst, amongst four people. We just have to be the top two. I'm not really a fan of all this horseback riding. It is what it is. Is what it is. Okay, I don't know what you were thinking there, buddy. Ah, all right, we're in. Ooh, he like docked that. That was kind of cool. Free folk 
Ben Cannibal. We're fighting a cannibal. Cannibal Hannibal. I don't really care. Just, just take me out. Just don't eat me. All right. We qualified. It's a 2v2. I got the cannibal on my team now. All right. Nice. We should win this. Okay. Wow. They just wrecked that cannibal. We got wrecked. Break Damn. Well, we, I got, I got a little, uh, arrogant there. That's okay. We have enough money to, to get more than 10,000. I just thought, you know, I got a little greedy there and thought I could win the tournament. All right. So let's trade and make some moolah. They've got 66,000 gold. I'm going to sell everything. And just like that, we might be able to get two giants. Call me crazy, but yeah, I think we're going to be able to get two giants. Maybe we shouldn't. We're at 18. No, okay, so we're going to be short. But that's fine because we're going to buy a giant and then we'll have 8k left to hold us over. We're getting the hell out of the north. We want to go back to some civilized territory. I don't know what we're going to do after this. But anyways, we have to go to, I believe, the Tavern dis District. Um, Yeah, let's visit the Tavern. Okay, now I believe the giant that you want to talk to is up here. Ah, there's the big old lad. All right, so his name is Magmar Tundoweg. Hello? Only few much worth. What's the price I will pay? So you can have 10 giants if you have 100,000 gold. I only have... I have near 20,000. I could have gotten two if I won some tournaments and everything, but it is what it is. I'll get the one giant. Guys, it's official. Steven Ironhorn has recruited a giant. We will definitely come back here again when we have gained more resources to be able to buy more giants. Um, I would love to have a ton. I don't want to get like a like 10 giants. I feel like that's kind of like... I feel like giants should be kind of rare. This is all just... Here, I, I guess we'll work on our blacksmithing. But yeah, uh, the giant thing should be rare. I think max three. And, and I'm not doing that because like... I'm doing that for just LARPing. I'm not, I'm not, uh, like I could easily just get a ton of giants and it'll be kind of goofy, but you know, in the show, I don't know about the books cause I haven't read them, but I feel like giants are fairly rare. They're like a dying race and you should only like get max three. I think any more than that is just kind of cheese and you just have an army of giants and you know, Stephen the giant tamer, you know, I, I don't know. It's kind of cool to say it like that, but anyways, we're done here for now. Uh, beyond the, the, beyond the wall. And we need to head back to some warmer lands. And what are we going to do now? Well, we've got a lot of options. And one of those options is going to be getting our reputation up. So we want to, we want to be a sought after mercenary group. Now remember, we don't really give a damn about the Game of Thrones. We don't really care. And when I say that, I mean like literally the game, not the story. But like we, we don't care about who wins the throne. We just want to kill the Greyjoys. And we're going to be willing to do anything it takes to do so. So I might join the Lannisters. I might join... Wait, who is that? Is that... What the hell is a Pike army doing? Wait, is this... Wait, is it... Is this... Oh, it's a Night Watch. What are they... Oh, the Night Watch. Oh, that's cool. They sent out an army and they're fighting. <laughs> Sorry, I, 
I saw Pike and I was thinking of House Pike. Isn't that like an Iron Isles? I don't know. That was kind of cool coming across some. Uh, anyways. Yeah, let's get these guys. You know, let's cross the wall. Let's get out of here. Oh, much better. Much safer. That was scary. So now what we need to do is just, I don't know, do some missions, win some tournaments, get famous, uh, and hopefully someone will send us an offer to become a mercenary. And I will basically join anyone. But we need to get to the point where, you know, where we can, uh, what am I going to say here? We need to get to a point where we need to get in some big battles so we can get a lot of loot. We can get our troops leveled up and we can become a powerful army. Remember, that's the goal here. The end goal, single-handedly bringing down the iron isles. And we do have uh, 30 pirates over here. This is actually a pretty good target to go for. I think we're faster than them too. So we're going to make a play for them. Nice. I think I'll fight this one too. Oh, these guys look nasty. Ready to fight. We got our we got ourselves a little bit of a bridge battle. That's kind of cool. Oh, there's our giant, guys. We get to see our giant in action. Look at him. Let's see. He looks kind of handsome. Handsome giant. All right, so let's start. And what we're gonna do is, I don't know if is the only way to cross is the bridge. So let's do shield wall. Infantry, forward, move. Go there, and then move, archers move. on the flank. Look at this. You got <laughs> the the red priestess. Uh, the calf probably won't be needed. Look at that. Let me see this giant. Oh yeah, he's a handsome giant. And they did so good with the modeling here. It looks so good. So cool. Yeah, the giant's really tanky. I don't know if he does a lot of damage, but he's very tanky. We're going to try to come out of this battle unscathed. I don't really want to lose anybody. Someone's already shooting. Nice. My Lannister crossbows have really good range. Good to note. Lannister crossbows. Good with range. Oh, they are flanking around. Okay. I do have a job for the Cav. Here, actually, Cav. Follow me. Let's deal with this flank. Now, remember, the pirates have, like, no anti-Cav. Ow. Nice, dude. We're building ourselves an army. Ah, uh, we did lose one soldier, though. Alright, everyone charge. Let's finish this. I lost another one. Nice. Alright, we lost two men. Let's see, what did we lose? We lost a broken guard and a northern soldier. That sucks. But we did not lose. Oh, that's what we need to do. That's our quest. Uh, we need to get a healer. We need to get a healer. Um, my question, though, is what exactly does the priestess do? What's her skill? Oh, she's a healer. She can be a healer. What am I doing? Did I make her a medic? Hold on, maybe I did. Sorry, I'm. It's it's been a while since the last episode. Oh, we got a better. Is this a better helmet? Wait, what? Oh, these are not shoes. Why am I looking at shoes here? Thirty-five. No, it's not. Hmm. I want to get a better helmet so I can stop looking like a goofy goober. So we need to maybe 
go to a, a city. We also need to compete in tournaments. Try to win those. Okay. Um, great battle. We got some prisoners, everything like that. We have a ton of leveling up here. So, all my archers. Unfortunately, we need to get, I guess, our roguery up to level these guys up. And we do have... Oh, we can have them. Okay, there we go. We can actually have zombies in our army. <laughs> that's so good. Okay, that's hilarious. We have giants and zombies in our army, guys. I mean, talk about a... I mean, talk... Okay, hear me out. Hear me out. Zombies are like the ultimate slave. You don't have to feed them. You, obviously, you're not paying them. And they'll work through the night and day. They never rest. They will do anything for you. Okay, let's go to Dreadfort. We, uh, oh, yeah. Uh, one other, one other thing. Let's make sure she's, she is our surgeon. Okay, I did make her our surgeon. So we do have our healer and she's the red priestess. I think we got to hear some lore about the Red Priestess. Why did she join us, you know? Why did she join us? Why is she helping us in our quest to defeat the Greyjoys? Who knows? Who knows? But let us head now to Dreadfort. Let's see if there's a tournament there. If not, whatever. I might try to buy a helmet there, a better helmet. We need to start looking into getting into bed. Oh, a hideout. Oh, this is good. Oh, let's do a quest here. Let's try to find a village that will give... Okay, there is a tournament here. Nice. Nice. A lot of opportunities here. So, let's trade. Nice. We just improved relation there. We'll trade all of this for 3,000 gold. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Okay. Okay. We might have to get more food soonish, not necessarily right now. And um I guess we'll fight in the tournament and then we'll do the quest to take out the hideout. So let's just go ahead and do the tournament and we've only won I think one tournament during this whole playthrough, so hopefully we can change that. Okay. Northern gloves. That sounds kind of cool. Why am I invisible? There we go. All right. I like this. We're on foot. Man, I'm not knocking this guy back at all with my shield bash. There we go. Okay, we're in, we're in. I thought he was gonna, I thought they were gonna both attack me. I'm gonna try to beat this guy just for practice, but we don't have to. <laughs> okay. 1v1. Let's see if we're on foot again. Oh, no. We're fighting on horseback. I don't... Actually, I did pretty good fighting on horseback here. The last battle. Nice. Crouch, crouch, crouch. Oh, I was too late. Yeah! Crouch, 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 crouch. Or couch, whatever. Not crouch. Oh, easy peasy. Okay, another 1v1. I'm liking it. I'm liking all these 1v1s. Alright, sword battle.
trying to do quick slices here. It's risky. Yes. Okay. Got a good feeling about this one. Bolton veteran archer. Be on horseback. Oh no, not axes. All right. What is this? Yes! 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 Oh, oh we got some sweet gloves <laughs> and money and renown. Nice. So with this new money, we'll see if these gloves are better than what I currently got. And if they're not, we'll just sell them and get a better helmet. So let's look at our inventory. Oh, sorry. Wrong, wrong screen. Uh, the gloves are... What? They're better. No, no, no. Put the gloves on. What? What? My... Okay. Yeah, we have invisible wrist. That looks like we're a skeleton. Okay, but yeah, it's definitely better, so... <laughs> it looks stupid, but... Oh, is there a way to, like, fix this? Is this just me, or is this, like... A common issue with the the mod anyways we'll do that we can sell these common bracers and oh, no, oh well we could recruit some troops no we can't let's go trade and let's see what they got for helmets eh, it's not as good wow really this is all they have for helmets this is Ooh, I kind of like these red gauntlets. Yeah, I'll sell this. It, we'll pay 3000 No, 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 no. We can't do that. I, I'm not doing it. I'll just sell this. Uh, they don't have a good helmet here, so we're going to leave. And we're going to do the quest here. Or try to find a quest. Oh, I guess we should check this. Does the city provide a quest to take out the hideout? Let's see. Let's see what he wants. Raw ma raw materials. No. No, I'm not doing that. Let's check this village over here. Let's see if they will provide a quest to take out the, uh, the robber knights or whatever these are. Their hideout. Let's see what we got. No quest here. So maybe... Trying to find some nearby villages. Maybe it's this village? Seems a little far away. But it's worth checking out. There is a quest here. So we'll see exactly what it is. No. No, no, no. That's not what we want. Maybe it's this village that has the quest? We gotta go all the way on the other, other side. All right, there is a quest here. There's some robber knights nearby. Let's see what it is. Landlord needs access to the last bridge. Car oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> I'm not doing legal disputes, okay? I, I guess we just... I think I'm just going to take it out. I'm just going to take it out. It, it, it kind of sucks, but whatever. Let's just take it out. Gain some reputation. We just won a tournament. Maybe... People soon will be offering some mercenary contracts to us. We're also losing a lot of money uh, every day. So I think we're going to... Wow. We're going to help this guy. Yeah. Let's help him. Hear me! All right. Army. Cavalry! Uh, my cab is like my personal bodyguard. Whoa. Infantry! Let's go ahead and form you into shield wall. A lot of cav. I like their, like, white armor. That's most of their calves. Go get them. I want to see this giant in action. Look at him go. 
This battle's uh, kind of interesting. Sorry, I'm not really fighting. I'm just kind of watching. <laughs> my, do you hear my my zombie? <laughs> Here, let's get some throwing practice in. Come on, man. So all right, there's still some horses we can get our throwing practice in. There we go. That was, that was a good throw. Get him, zombie! You serve me now. That's so... A... Lore friendly. Like, A... Like, it's just so wrong. Nice. Not only are we going to take out these armies here. Yeah. Yeah. How many do we lose? We lost five men? Bunch of free folk. They can't handle the warm weather. Oh, well. Uh, I guess I'll take all the prisoners I can. And yeah, let's level up. Um, I'm pretty happy with the amount of archers we have, so I'm going to stop getting archers. At this point, 20 archers with 33 infantry. I like that ratio. And we got another zombie, a pirate, and a broken man. So, it's almost got us back to full strength. Oh! We got um, some good stuff here. Not as good as what we currently have, but I like it make some money all right so let's go back to waiting for nightfall so we can attack this hideout and wipe them out now we got a lot of options here that we can take we're definitely going to take the giant <laughs> um ah, whatever i'll just take what we got selected here and get this show on the road okay so let's turn on fire at will all right and everyone charge Uh, is it me or the giant get a haircut? He went with like the page boy haircut. He's got the bowl cut. Giant smash. I'm a tournament winner. Are you sure you want to cross blades with me? Are you sure you want to cross blades with me? Yeah, so I think because we just destroyed like three parties of robber knights, uh, their hideout is severely weakened. I don't know if that's how the game works, but that might be that might be the case. I don't I don't I don't know. Oh, that giant smash. Oh, they knocked out one of my free folk. The free folk kind of suck. All right. Look at this guy. He's he stand no chance, man. I mean, just... Nice. Good job, guys. Good job. My ragtag group of soldiers. All right, so we got more prisoners. We can't take them all, but we'll take most of them. We can level up the giant now. So we can either make him an elder giant or a giant archer. I think we're going to keep him as infantry. This is it. This is like the most we can level. Yeah, there we go. We're going to make him... It what? Does he have a bow? Wait, did we make him an archer? Wait, hold on. Where's our giant? Did we did we accidentally make him an art? No, we made him an elder giant. I guess he. What? Okay, whatever. <laughs> that works. Uh, also, yes, we got better horse armor for our horse. We got some loot. Cool. So, guys, unfortunately, we are out of time this episode comes to a close but 
It was a fruitful episode. Some highs, a little bit of lows, but mostly highs. We've got, we beat a white's army. Uh, we captured or paid for a giant. And uh, we're building up our reputation in the north of Westeros. Doing tournaments, crushing bandits. We're still pretty low on the radar in terms of power. No one really is too threatened by us, but with a giant and now with some zombies in the army, we're a force to be reckoned with. You know, uh, we're, uh, you know, kind of, you know, we're getting there. I think once I get, once I get like 100, 200 troops under my belt, maybe a couple more giants, you know, max three, maybe a dragon. Maybe we get some sick armor. We, we start to, we start to turn some heads. And people start to wonder what Steven's going to be up to and potentially offer a lot of money. We also might want to look into uh, building some sort of business. Do we make some passive income? Because we're losing 365 gold per day, which is a considerable amount. And we definitely want to try to fix that with uh, some passive income. So we'll see. Uh, any kind of advice about... Uh, here's a couple things. Let me ask you guys two things. And you can let me know in the comments. What do you? What should we do next? Should we just keep doing tournaments until we um, we get enough renown so people offer like mercenary bids, or uh, like what else should we do? You know, whatever you know, or should we just like seek out a faction to join and fight in their battles? I really don't care. Either way works. Uh, the other thing is. What kind of business should we build? Do you have any recommendation of cities that are fruitful that could bring in a lot of money if we invest in building a, uh, a business, you know, something like that. Uh, but yeah, let me know in the comments below, guys. Thank you so much for hanging out with, with me today. This was a lot of fun, and I will see you next time in Westeros.